Who's that? Hi there, how y'all doing? Okay, hi. Woo! Da, 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 da. Hey y'all, I'm Amy and this is Misty Dawn Farm. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today, I am in my bee suit because I have to go check my bees. Now, now, I had every intention of getting out here first thing this morning and doing it while it was still cool. You know, sometimes, sometimes things don't work out the way you try for them to, to work out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, what, I want to know how long it's been. It's been just a little bit of time since I checked my bees. Let me show you all this. Actually, it doesn't take long for this to happen, but this is my, my clicker lighter for my smoke uh what is it called smoker that's the word i just almost said it my smoker look y'all you got dirt dauber nest on it already just that fast oh chub da 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 there's live spiders still in that thing <clears throat> anyway, anyway, it's been a little bit since I've done the bees because um, we had some really, really, really wet weather and it was like constantly raining and wet and you can't open a hive when it's going to get wet. Just can't do that. So um, now it's been dry for a little bit of time and I'm going to get in the hive and see how it's going. So, I'm going to take y'all with me. We're going to see how this goes. I got to get my... Ooh, see, I have a spider there. It fell out of that thing. It was alive. Um, I'm going to get my smoker started, and then we're going to head out there. <laughs> yep. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, hang on, baby doll. Don't run away from me. I want you to say hi. Almost says hi. Say hi. I'll say hi. <laughs> she says, please, woman. Let me go. Okay. She's she's very sweet, but sometimes she doesn't want to be held. So that's okay. That's how it be. You gonna walk? Okay. Hi, little honeys. You're gonna get real mad at me. Sorry. Sorry, it's got to be done. Mm -hmm. Hi babies. Hi babies. It's okay. Don't be mad. It's okay. Don't be mad. Hi there. Hi there. How y'all doing? Aww. Well, there's nothing in this one. These, these girls in their honey supers. That is, you just don't like to build out comb, do you? Y'all take all my wax off. I think they took all the wax that I scraped there, or uh, all the wax that I painted on here. I think they scraped it all or took it all off. Y'all, that's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Why, why you gotta be doing that? See, there's ten in this box, but they don't fit tightly. And then in the other box, nine fit super tightly. When I did my last video a while back, when I was doing this once before, you know, we're talking about the issues I have with the number of frames in my boxes. And I understand what you're saying, that they need to be in there tight. But that one holds 10, not tightly. And it won't, it's not, I got enough room for 11. And then this one, this is 10. These fit tightly in this one. Explain that to me. I don't know. Hi, ladies. How y'all doing? 
How's everybody doing? Doing all right? See that? Look, there's no more painted wax on this one either. Yes, they took it. They took it. All right. Let's see. We're going to take a little peek in here. Okay. Move that one. Pretty honey. You see? Cat. Okay. This one's not attached to anything. Let's see here. Hi there. I've got brood in the his when I was in here. When I looked through all my honey supers the last time, when I actually pulled them all out and was looking at them, I was having issues with drone comb in with the honeycomb because I had a queenless hive. So one of the workers, which could get to the top, had started laying eggs. But I see all that is gone now, and it's just honey. I haven't done a thorough inspection since that time when I recombined my hives. I know, y'all gonna get mad about this, sorry. It's you over here. Let's see if y'all can still see what I'm doing. Okay. Any smoke left? It keeps going out on me. How many pine straw left? I'm just gonna just gonna deal with it, I guess. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hang on. Move out of the way. I don't want to squish nobody. Ooh, look. What a beautiful bunch of bees. Hi there, everybody. Hi there, everybody. Look at all that capped brood. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Now, I hold the frame over the box because if for some reason the queen's on here and she, she just kind of walks off the edge, she'll fall into the box and not onto the ground because I don't wanna, wouldn't want to lose her. Sometimes it's hard for me to spot her. Not always. Let's not have that issue. Okay. But I don't see her on here anywhere. And I need to set it down on the side. One of these days I'm gonna get there's a there's a contraption thing that hooks onto the side that just hangs your frame on the side so you don't have to set it down. Okay, that, that clip was my, my camera in the refrigerator. I came in from doing bees, and I put it in that refrigerator over there because it wouldn't come back on. It was too hot. So I left you sitting in the refrigerator for a little bit, and you came back on. So, okay. It's a little warm out there. So, I forgot, y'all, that I forgot about how my camera has been shutting off how hot it's been and that's what happened so I got some but I think what you missed was I got I hope the fan isn't messing up my volume um I only looked through the top box because it was packed full of brood and eggs and then I got about three frames in and I saw my queen and she's doing great and there's Boo of bees. So, 
That's good. I didn't have to go down into the bottom box. And I only put one honey super back on this one, the empty one that they scraped and pulled all the painted wax off of. I pulled that one, so I don't want it anyway. Um, the other one, the other honey super, as you saw, wasn't full, so that's fine. Um, and I put it back together. So everything is good. Everything looks good. Now I'm on to other things today, which this has already been really long, I feel like. I'm probably going to edit some of this out because I've been talking for a while. Um, but I have other things to do today. I'm going to turn that fan back on because it's hot. Oh, yeah. Okay. y'all okay so we put down some timbers in that muddy spot and so the next step is going to be to get a load of um lime rock putting the timbers there filled in a lot of the hole so that it won't take as much lime rock or gravel or whatever we decide to put in there so I'm covered in mud y'all first from then that and then I went and I watered all the pigs and Luigi really enjoys water and mud he had a mud hole but I cooled his mud hole down with cold water because it's hot and so he, he shakes like a dog got all over me now I'm sitting back here in my backyard I've come to say hi to my goats but they're I put them in here this morning and they're busy eating they don't even care Batman come see me come see me excuse you come see me come here baby mm. okay so in other news willow is not bread Um, so I could, the best time of year for goats to have babies or to be pregnant is in cooler weather. So ideally, what are you doing? Bell, what are you doing? 
you see her rubbing her neck all over the ground? Weirdo. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, the best time of year for them to be pregnant is in cooler weather because it's not as hard on them. Yes, babe. Yes. So, I'm going to go ahead and rebreed her now. I wouldn't, I can still continue to milk for three months and then dry her up until she has the baby. It's five months-ish. It's how long they're bred for or how long their gestation period is. So, I'm going to do that here shortly. So, we're going to have a new visitor to the farm in just a little bit of time. Levi. Thank you, dear. He was in it. And so I'll introduce y'all to him coming up. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and plan for goat babies. We're going to put um, Batman here and Annabelle are going to stay here in my backyard for a little while for a couple of weeks while Willow has her date in the goat area. Yes. And then, um, We'll have babies on the way. Okay, go ahead. Back up, baby doll. <clears throat> Batman. 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 Why why is the camera so fascinating to you? Now he's licking it. Don't lick it. Don't lick it. Batman. That's good. Okay. Okay. are not friends yet, but <laughs> nice big girl. She has a white patch under her neck. One on her belly. <laughs> anyway, her and Raja are not friends yet, but they don't hate each other as much. Well, that's not true. She did she doesn't hate him at all. She loves him. She thinks they should be pals. He's not quite sure yet. But he doesn't run and hide. He just kind of stands off and watches. So that's good. What did you hear? That's okay. It's just a duck. Just was a duck. Sweet girl. Can y'all hear her purring? <laughs> Come here. What's the matter? Are you going to be Mr. Grumpy Pants? Did you go and be Mr. Grumpy? So you brought somebody else here and I'm not happy about it. It's okay. She'll be your friend, okay? It's okay. Yeah, we'll be friends. Soon enough. So I had a friend of mine over here the other day looking at my turkeys and stuff and she looked at this one and she's like that uh that's a rooster no 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 these two they have two little girls of a, i forget what i can't remember what breed they are i've got two black copper marons and two something else all supposed to be girls all from a friend of mine courtney and she's like no sorry hon sorry to break it to you, but you've got one hen and one rooster. That's why they're the same breed and different colors. I'm like, seriously? So that little one there, who was Rose, y'all, if y'all been here, okay, I have a rooster, an Easter Egger Polish cross rooster, okay? His name, well, he was my son's and my son named him Rose because it was supposed to be a girl and it turned out to be a boy. So now his name is Rusty. Okay. So when we got these, my son was like, Oh, I'm going to name this one Rose. Like, okay, that one is a girl. So yes, let's call that one Rose. Okay. 
So now, now we gotta think of another little boy name for this one. Thanks for hanging out with me today, y'all. Till next time, keep on the sunny side.